Hi guys, just for checking the video out, Steve Buzzer here, and I'm coming to you from Bangkok in quite a formal, I almost feel like a news presenter here, but what I'm going to talk about today is the Stableford. So the Stableford is a format that is used a lot in the UK. Um, I don't think it's used as much in America. I might be wrong. I have been known to be wrong in the past, but I think the Stableford sort of format and the one I'm going to talk about here is more popular in the UK than it is in America. But again, if you're watching this from different parts of the world and you not only play Stableford, but in the format I'm about to describe, I mean, get some comments down below. Love to hear what you've got to say. But I had James Picard, Jimbo Jet Golf. Uh, he played a nine hole Stableford around Bovey Castle. Real good vlog, so if you haven't seen it, um, I would, I'd watch it straight after this video. You know, it, it is quite fun and Bovey Castle, beautiful course. But they decided to play Stableford uh, because there was a couple people in the group that had handicaps. So basically, the way that the Stableford works is it's a less stressful version of a medal. So you get two points if you make a par, three points for a birdie, four points for an eagle, five points for a double eagle. If you make a bogey, one point. But then if you make a double bogey, you just get zero. So the whole idea is you can't have one bad hole completely ruin your score. So that's where I like the Stableford. Far more friendly than a medal, really does allow you to keep your score going. You know, it's a, and it makes the round a bit quicker. So like if you play competition golf at the weekend, you probably find the medal can be quite slow because if somebody is having a bit of a nightmare on a hole, they have to keep going. Whereas the Stableford, they can use their allotted shots and finish. Um, I know on the PJ Tour they used to do like an alternative Stableford. Um, that's a slightly different system because the points um, actually had better weighting if you were making birdies and eagles. So I think if you made an eagle, you got loads of points. If you made a birdie, more points than if you made a par and et cetera, et cetera. So the, the, the way that the Stableford that I'm describing here is a, um, is a way to, to keep you moving, stopping a bad score completely ruining your day. Not so much encouraging really aggressive play. But, and like I say, you might be new to golf and you might not have heard of this. So basically, if you've got a handicap, um, the way that it will work is each hole has a stroke index, so the difficulty of the hole. So like an, an, e an easy example would be if you're an 18 handicap, you would get a shot a hole. So if you made a bogey on a par four, you take one off, you'd then make a par or a net par, and then you'd get two points. Um, if you're a 17 handicap, you would, uh, on the stroke index 18, so on the easiest hole on the course, you wouldn't get the shot there. So it's distributed that way. Like when I was playing amateur golf, I had a plus one handicap. So on the easiest hole, I used to add a shot on, which I didn't enjoy doing. That didn't be a, wouldn't be a hole that I would tend to get many points on, unfortunately. But that's kind of the, the concept of the Stableford. So uh, I, I thought I would just do a quick video. I know most people, especially guys from the UK, would already understand how the Stableford works. But uh, I do know there's a lot of people that are either new to golf or maybe in a different part of the world that weren't quite sure of the format. So they might have been watching the Bovey Castle vlogs and not working out why the players that were doing well were getting more points. So, Whereas like a minus number is usually good on the vlogs, you know, you want to be under par. Um, I actually put it as points. So um, not having many points was a bad thing. Sorry, Stu. <laughs> and then uh, players that were doing well. So through, through nine holes, you should have 18 points. And I think Paul won with 18 points. So he played level his handicap on the front nine. That was good enough to win. So that's kind of, I just wanted to clarify that really. But uh, get some comments down below. Are you somebody that didn't know what Stableford was, like new to the game, and have hear about other formats that they're not quite sure of? Uh, you know, it, the beauty of golf is there are many different ways and many different formats. So like, if you've got another format you don't really understand, do you mean get a comment down below? And are you somebody that likes Stableford preferred to medal? So I know a lot of people that really find medals intimidating and much more enjoy the Stableford. You know, obviously, it, it's effectively the same game, but maybe you enjoy it more. And if you're trying to enjoy your golf, maybe places should be playing more stable foods than medals. So get some comments down below. I'd love to hear what you've got to think on that matter. 
Put the cashews in.